Well, good morning, church. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Pastor Christian here coming to you from my basement. And today we're going to be talking about the Bible and specifically, why do we read the Bible? As followers of Jesus, we we obviously place a, a high value on God's Word. But I, I want to speak specifically today about why about why we're, we're called to read God's Word daily, why we want to prioritize God's Word in our lives. And, and recently I was reading an article by a pastor that I really respect. His name is Andrew Wilson, and, and he, he listed off five reasons why we read God's Word, and, and one reason why we don't. And so I, I wanted to share this list with you today. I, I found it very helpful. And to begin, Wilson said that, that we need to talk about why we don't read God's Word. And we don't read God's Word in order to earn. In order to earn. That, that is to say that, that we don't come to God's Word and, and read it in order that we might you know, gain God's approval or His affection or His love. You, you are no more justified before your Father when you are reading His Word than when you are reading the morning newspaper, okay? And so we're going to talk in just a moment about why it is beneficial and helpful to read God's Word, but we never read it in order to earn anything, okay? So let's look at the five reasons why we do read God's Word. And, and here's number one. We read God's Word in order to learn. In order to learn. We, we want to learn about who God is. We want to learn about what God desires for our lives and, and for this world. You, you know, I... It doesn't matter if you have been reading the Bible all the way through for the last 40 years. There's always more to learn. And I've been married to my wife for seven and a half years. We've been together now for over 10 years. And yet, there's still more I have to learn about her. And I never want to stop learning about her because I care about her. And so in the same way, we, we come to, to God's Word in order to learn because we care about God and about His desires for our lives and for for this earth. So that's the first reason why we read God's Word to learn. And secondly, we read God's Word in order to discern. In order to discern. And when I say that we we read God's Word in order that we might grow in discernment, I, I'm not talking about the discernment method but in which we, we simply flip open the pages of Scripture and then and kind of put our finger down and then try to to use this verse as, as a means of telling us what to do in any given moment. That, that is not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about discernment. But what I, am, what I am saying is that when we regularly ingest the truths of God's Word, we will find that we increasingly make better decisions. That, that we increasingly weigh our decision based on the truths found in Scripture. And so if you want to grow in discernment, you want to be a person who discerns good from evil or, or wise from unwise. Regularly ingest the truths of God's Word. Thirdly, we, we come to God's Word, we read it regularly in order to turn. In order to turn from our sin. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been reading Scripture and in that passage, or in that story, or in that parable, I have said to myself and to the Lord, this is me. This is a picture of my life right now. That character's heart, that, that, that is my heart right now. This story, this, this psalm, this proverb, this was, this was God's word for me today. I needed to hear this. I know of no other vehicle outside of Scripture, that, that is better at, at, at creating conviction in my heart than the words of Scripture. And so we come regularly to God's Word in order that God's Word might act like a mirror for us, might show us ourselves and our motivations and our heart in order that we might turn from our sin. And so we, we, we read God's Word in order to turn. Next on the list, Wilson says we... We read God's Word regularly in order to burn, in order that our, our passions for Jesus, our passions for His kingdom might burn all the more. You know, we, we turn to the Gospels in order that we might just fall, 
fall in love with Jesus all over again as we see his kindness and his compassion, as we see how winsome he is. Every time I read, I'm reading through the Gospel of Luke right now, and I'm just astonished by, by how drawn I am to the person of Jesus. Or we read through the epistles or the, the letters of the Apostle Paul, and we just find this, this, this burning within us. God, I want to lay down my life for you in the same way that Paul laid down his for your kingdom. And so we, we turn to God's word in order that we might burn. And, and then lastly, we turn to God's word in order that we might yearn. That we might yearn for Jesus' return when he will make all things right. You know, so often as I'm reading through scripture and I, I, I read that justice is one day going to roll down like a river. I read that Jesus is going to come back and he is going to make all sad things untrue. It just creates this yearning in my heart for his return and for his kingdom to be established on earth as it is in heaven. It just creates this yearning within me for, for Jesus to come and establish a new heaven and a new earth here so that I'm not, I'm not sucked in to just the the demands and the distractions of this world. You know, Scripture reminds us that, that this current world that we live in, this is not the end of the story, that something better is possible. And, and we're given motivation to sacrifice our lives now, to lay down our lives now, because we, we have something even better coming for us. And that is Jesus' kingdom established in full. As we read through his, his Scriptures, a yearning is produced within us for God's kingdom to come in full. And so these are the five reasons why we read God's word. We read it to learn. We read it to discern. We read it to turn. We read it that we might burn. And we read it in order to yearn. So I hope that that list was helpful for you like it was helpful for me. And, and may we be a, a, a church that diligently studies the scriptures that comes to them regularly and is changed by them. Bless you, church. I'm, I'm so thankful for each one of you, and I'll see you soon.